hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys an updated how i bleach my knots and pluck my lace front wigs i already have this video on my channel where i showed you guys how i bleach and tint my lace front wigs or closures if you'd like to see that i'll link that in the description box below but i just thought to do an um, updated one for the year 2020 i know the year already ran out but i just wanted to show you guys anyway so without further ado let's just get right into the video these are the products that i'm going to be using for this step i basically just have purple shampoo um the freeze spray a mixing bowl and as well as the bleach and developer which i'm going to show you guys later now i'm just brushing the hair to get all the hair like away from the lace this way it helps to you know see the knots uh, or what you're working with like a clear space so this is how the lace comes in its natural state not bleached at all the first thing i'm going to do is to spray the baby hairs out of the lace this is important very 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 important because you want to have a clear lace to work with you want to take all the little hairs back into the wig if not during the bleaching process the hair could get bleached so you want to take everything back so i like to use water to get all the hair back into the um into the wig and not on the lace then i go ahead and spray the lace with got to be now this is also really important because you don't want your hair on the lace to get bleached so you want to create like a barrier between the bleach and the lace which is going to be the got to be spray I, I spray this on the lace and then i let it sit till it's dry like strong dry then i go ahead and bleach this is really important so don't miss it then for the mixing process, I'm using a 30% volume developer for this process with regular bleach. You can buy this from anywhere that you buy bleach. And I'm using a 30% developer because uh, my client is dark skinned and 30% developer is easier to monitor than a 40% or higher. If, if my client was lighter in complexion, I would just go ahead and use a 40% because that could lighten the bleed, the lace faster and a lot more than a 30%. Now, in terms of mixing the bleach and the amounts you should use, honestly, I just eyeball it i basically go one at a time so i put a little in the bowl i mix 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 if i feel like i need more i add but the consistency that you need is not a runny consistency and also not a thick consistency now in terms of applying the bleach to the lace honestly i just take it slow you don't want to apply pressure if not you're going to apply pressure to the point where the bleach you literally um lick into the lace so you want to be really careful really gentle and that's the reason why i'm using a bread knife for this because the pressure i find isn't as heavy as when i use like a brush or a spoon and i start from the back to the front this is because if there will be any mistakes the back will take it first rather than the front so the back is easier to fix rather than the front so i like or i recommend that you start from the back and i take the bleach high up because sometimes you could just bleach the po to the point where you have hair and forget the other part i always take the bleach higher up because when you cut the lace on your head or your client's head the um, part that you bleached actually blends on the skin proper if you get what i mean now basically i put this on a foil and let it sit for about 30 minutes but i check it from time to time you want to do the step it is vital so you make sure that the bleach isn't um penetrating into the lace you want to always check it as often as you can if it's not good you just wait a couple more minutes come back again check and then you keep doing this until you see that the knots are bleached to your desired taste and also the color as well depending on your skin tone or your client's skin tone basically so for me it was perfect for my client's skin tone then i just went ahead and rinsed it off with warm water this will actually stop the bleaching process so that's the reason why i recommend warm water this is how it looks perfect for my client's skin tone because she's dark this would definitely work on her but i go ahead as well and use purple shampoo on the lace because you can't see it on camera but it's actually really brassy so you want to take that out so with that you're going to use purple shampoo this helps you tint the lace before you go in with any other tint that you might want to you know add for your client 
I wash this off after I'm done. Then I go ahead and, you know, do the rest of the hair and then put it to dry. But I don't let it dry. I just let, I just leave it to the point where it's almost dry because it's easier when it's almost dry or where the hair, when the hair is slightly um, damp for the plucking stage. But yeah, the lace looks good already for my client's skin tone. So I'm happy. Uh, this is how it looks not plucked. And to be honest, I'm really impressed with this lace because it's not um plucked 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 but it's not beginner beginner so you would really 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 um find it helpful when you have a lace like this now for plucking honestly i thought i don't start from the front line to pluck because you want to see exactly um you know the progress or the direction that you need to plug at or plug to english is hard but what i do is i just cut out the first part and then i start to pluck from the back and then i comb out now you always want to comb out the hair because you're not going to see the progress if you don't comb it out because it will just be bulky so you just keep plucking and that's how you get bald spots so you want to always pluck 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 then comb 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 so you're seeing what you're doing you're seeing the progress and for me personally i don't like to pluck my lace uh, and the first time like so hard i don't like to pluck it so so much because this way your lace lasts longer you want to pluck 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 till, it, till you have a realistic hairline but you don't want to overly pluck it if you get what i mean don't overly pluck it so that your lace can last long but don't leave it to the point where your lace isn't realistic when you wear the wig on if you get what i mean so if you comb comb pluck pluck you have to always check and then you see if it's okay for you if it's not you have to pluck a little more sis go ahead and pluck a little more but you have to be really gentle and be patient with this process too because plucking takes a lot of time like it takes a long time it takes me a long time to get it done so i basically just sit there watch something and then make sure that i'm doing it right but then you guys see how this looks natural people actually go ahead and pluck more than i did but honestly like i said if you want your lace to last long just don't overly pluck it in the first stage like just leave it it will definitely with time you know um thing out more so you don't want to do that in the beginning and when i'm done with one side i usually like to um, pat the hair in the middle just to see the progress and see how it will frame the fra the face of the client or frame frame my face so that's the reason why i part it in the middle just so i have a clear picture of how it looks on you know the client or how it would look on the client or look on me but yeah this is basically what it looks like after i'm done so if you enjoy watching this video please do not forget to leave me a thumbs up my instagram is going to be linked in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll definitely 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 see you in a later one bye